So as unlikely as it may seem, magnetic levitation or maglev trains are appearing worldwide as a very fast way of getting around. And with me today is Dr. Kay Takashina, who's going to describe exactly what's going on on a slightly smaller scale version here, Kay. The physics of how this demonstration works isn't quite the same as how magnetic levitated trains work. Sure. But it is a demonstration where we have levitation due to magnetic field and it uses superconductivity. This is the, um, the model's train. And what it is, is a polystyrene tank. And at the bottom, there are two pieces of uh, YBCO. And YBCO is? It's, it stands for yttrium barium copper oxide. Right. And it's a high temperature superconductor. Right, OK. OK. It's not superconducting when it's at high temperature. But when it's low temperature, what it does is that if there's any magnetic field going through it, it traps that magnetic field within that material. So here, along this track, these are little bar magnets, and that field is going through our pieces of the YBCA. Right. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to pour liquid nitrogen in this tank here. That's going to cool the pieces of superconductor so that they, so that they become superconducting, and then they're going to trap that magnetic field. Okay? Right. So they hold on to that magnetic field. The superconductor doesn't want any more magnetic field through it than it's got, and it doesn't want to lose it either. So it's not attracting or repelling on that track, it's just locking itself it, into... It, it's doing both, I, I, I suppose. Right. It, it's sitting, it will sit at the point of lowest energy. Right. Okay. So if I pull it, then there's more space, and it doesn't like that. If I push it, it doesn't like that either. <laughs> okay. So wherever I make it superconducting is where it wants to be in relation to the magnetic field. And so the field's the same all along the track, so it should stay... A, fixed distance from the track when we move it. I'll believe it when I see it, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is liquid nitrogen, right? That's right. How cold is that? It's 77 Kelvin above absolute zero. So that's just boiling while it's getting down to temperature, that's is it? That's right. So when the boiling settles down, you know that it's... Oh, it's almost there. Oh, okay. So I'll pop it up and I'll pull the perspex sheet out and hopefully... It Moment will, of truth. Hopefully it will stay in place. I'm pretty sure it will. There we go. No. That's witchcraft. And so now if I if I pull it along. It's very cold. <laughs> That's fantastic. So there you have it, the future is here and it's quite literally super cool. That's rubbish. <laughs> For more amazing videos from the world of science, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged. Oh, and if you can think of worse puns, put them in the comments below. Please do. Droplets going uphill, water going uphill somehow? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so what's going on there then? So you've got this sort of vapour coming off it. That's right, yeah. Like you say, the vapour's flowing out from beneath the droplet. Because it's such a narrow bit of space, it takes quite a long time for the air to flow out. And in this case, you're vibrating the surface up and down like this. Right. So in some ways, you're constantly feeding that flame with air. With air, that's yeah. right.